first off, you have to tell the viewers about how you're after making bits of your phone. <laughs> I actually, I do the show on my phone every week and I actually can't see your eyes or mine, which mightn't be a bad thing. The whirlpool we blues, you can't see. <laughs> but um, doing a bit on the ball wall the other night and a ball flew past and I had my phone in my hand and I put my phone out to, to block it. I put my hand out to block the ball and of course the, the ball cracked my screen so um i'm hope i have a screen protector on it but i haven't taken it off yet because i'm not very technologically uh wise so when i take it off i'm hoping the screen will be perfect but i have my doubts and i suppose it was a real benny hill moment was there people laughing at you when they saw this car- caper going on a trend no very very important to keep these things on the down low and make sure don't make a big deal about it and just deal with the consequences later so i don't think anybody really noticed to be fair but like you'd command respect no one would dare laugh at you anyway Former teacher, tell you, rule with an iron fist. So when you're coaching, do you turn into a different man altogether, a different animal? Uh, no, I don't I don't think so. Um, uh, well, I think you turn, I think you kind of, you, your default is, you probably, who you are as a person is probably a fair bit who you're going to be as a coach. Um, I'd be, I'd have a fair bit of energy and that would be kind of maybe more my approach, but I definitely wouldn't be ruling with an iron fist or going around barking at lads. Maybe 10 years ago, maybe 10 years ago I would have been. Um, but I, I tell you what we were never told in college, um, I study PE teaching obviously, but the biggest occupational hazard of them all and something you get no training in is your voice and how to keep your voice and how to basically make sure that your voice makes it's a good, loud, kind of strong noise, but without being hoarse the whole time. I used to get tonsillitis two or three times a year when I was teaching, and I've noticed um, my voice is much clearer, much better. Still boggery and whatever, but I don't have the, I don't have the problems I had years ago with it anyway. 